This video will demonstrate the donning and doffing of powered air purifying respirator. This instructional video is intended for anesthesiology residents of the Southern Philippines Medical Center. It adheres to the Anesthesia COVID Task Force. For high-risk aerosolizing procedures and operations, a powered air purifying respirator is strongly recommended. Please refer to your institutional guidelines for other recommendations. First, check that the PAPR is working well before donning. The PAPR is made up of the following parts. Power switch. Battery display. Flow regulator. Three air inlets. One air outlet. HME filters. Airflow indicator. Breathing tube. Hood. Press on power button for one second to check battery power. Charge if less than 40%. Press for more than three seconds to turn on. Remove caps from two air inlets and one air outlet, checking that the white silicone gasket is intact in all ports. Uncap filters inlet and outlet. Then attach filters outlet to PAPR body's air inlets. At least two filters should be used at a time. Increase airflow by turning regulator knob clockwise. Attach airflow indicator to air outlet and watch the ball rise up. The ball should be pushed upward beyond the horizontal black pass mark to indicate adequate airflow. Adjust the flow regulator accordingly. Attach breathing tube to body's air outlet, then repeat airflow test. Attaching the airflow indicator to breathing tube's outlet and watching the ball rise up above the pass mark. Adjust regulator accordingly. Donning the PAPR is a two-person task. The PAPR is donned after donning the second layer PPE, skipping the goggles. Make sure you have your buddy with you before initiating PAPR donning. With your buddy standing behind you and carrying the PAPR body in its carrier belt, don the PAPR as you would a backpack. Lock clasp in place and adjust straps to fit, so the machine rests on the small part of your back. Buddy screws breathing tube onto hood while you adjust the straps of the carrier belt. Lean your head slightly backward, holding the top part of your hazmat suit hoodie. While your buddy puts on the hood on your head from behind you, pull it downward and adjust according to your view. The garter part should be around your neck and the hood should cover your shoulders completely. Lock the hood's arm straps into place. Press the power button for more than 3 seconds and feel air blowing downward from above your forehead. Make sure that the surgical gown or apron donned at the top of the hood does not obstruct the air inlets at the back to prevent suffocation. You have successfully donned the PAPR. Proceed to the third layer of enhanced PPE donning. PAPR doffing is done at the doffing area after second stage doffing is done. Buddy in enhanced PPE sprays alcohol in the T position and wipes all over the user, from hood to sole to include the PAPR belt, breathing tube, and motor unit. Do hand hygiene. Repeat hand hygiene as necessary during doffing. Buddy wipes hood face and area around the hood. Do hand hygiene. Buddy in enhanced PPE sprays and wipes for a second time. Doffing the PAPR hood is a two-person task. With your buddy standing behind you, 
have buddy release velcro arm straps. Slip both hands under the hood and grasp the bottom face frame through the underside of the front part of the hood. Make sure your fingers do not cross above the guarded neck area into the face area. Lean forward slightly then lift hood upward and backward towards your buddy. Disconnect breathing tube from hood. Place hood in a disinfection bin. Do hand hygiene. Turn off PAPR. With your buddy standing behind you and holding the PAPR body, unclasp the belt and remove carrier away from the body. Make sure your buddy is holding on to it. Do hand hygiene. With the second layer PPE still dawn, disinfect all PAPR and wipe all surfaces. You have successfully doffed the PAPR. Proceed with second layer doffing as per enhanced PPE doffing protocol. 